Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In my today's session, I'll be discussing about circle of concern versus circle of influence. The concept is popularized by Stephen Conway. This concept explores three spheres: the circle of concern, secondly the circle of influence, and thirdly the circle of control. The circle of concern is concerned with the wide range of worries we might have about the topic. The circle of influence is related to narrowing of first circle in these worries we can do something about either directly or indirectly. The circle of control is basically an even a more smaller circle representing the things we can actually directly do something about. human beings can choose where they focus their energy and attention if we focus on concerns outside our influence we risk increasing our stress and falling into the space of accusing blaming and victimization by choosing to focus on the circle of influence we we move into more proactive space rather than spending energy on these things we can do nothing about we can take steps that make a positive difference calling on our strengths and connections and we can choose to let go for concerns that are not serving us well why it's useful facilitating this thinking in yourself or in others helps to limit wasteful consideration about the things we worry about Altering things to a proactive focus can enhance productivity, help people to see greater att- connection to progress and towards the achievements, and it also help us to build resilience. As on the screen, you can see the circle of influence is related to proactive focus, and the circle of influence is related to, in the second one, reactive focus. when the circle of influence is bigger then you are having the focus proactive approach and when your circle of influence is smaller then you have a reactive approach the circle of concern includes the wide range of concerns you have in the world related to your work related to your own personal life including health family finances economy national debt everything you include inside the circle is a concern and matters to you everything outside the circle is of little or no concern as you can see on the screen as well the challenge with the circle of concern is you start to realize that some of the things you find yourself concern about are outside your control you don't have the control on those things and some are inside your realm of control so it means there are certain things which you have control you can find out the factors to minimize those things but there are certain things which are beyond your circle of concern then normally the circle of influence is guided by our family geography company business and other things related to our role and the position are the things that concern you that you can do something about you may be worried about the economy or the climate change or about anything regarding any disease like corona virus or something like that we could rightly say that there is no point wasting time and energy on the things that we can't control this is easy in theory but more difficult in practice Kobe approach might offer some guidance how to apply this approach in the real time and during the worldly affairs you are dealing with we can't control the economy or global pandemic as we react we tend to focus on circle of concern which depletes our energy because we have no control over it the energy focused on the circle of concern is mostly negative If you focus on the circle of concern and neglect the circle of influence eventually the circle of influence will get smaller 
This will add to the feelings of stress and helplessness because you cannot change anything in the circle of concern. Basically, the circle of control is something related to personally. I believe that there are two levels of influence. Direct the control of circle and indirect the circle of influence. So it just make it clearer to articulate the power of choice. Kove would have focus on what can be the impact. He states that a positive and proactive focus on things we can control will eventually have secondary effect of increasing our circle of influence. There is yet another deeper consideration. While there are things we have within our direct control, there are also many things while outside of direct control. However, within our ability to influence, that's called indirect control. By successfully focusing on the things we can influence within our family, life or business. Example, our own actions, our own behaviors, our own planning that impact our own lives directly. We can indirectly have an impact on larger scale. There are certain decisions which you have power of yourself. So if you are planning in a proper way, then definitely those decisions can have an indirect impact on the larger scale, on your family, on your businesses, on your peer groups and on wider horizon. For example, by focusing on your own business or job, you do not directly affect your own economies, but may begin to have an influence in your local community economy, which ultimately contributes to yourself on a small scale to a global economic impact. The example of climate change make decisions to recycle that reduce our own direct impact and ultimately indirectly on the larger scale of global climate change. So the whole scenario related to circle of control, circle of influence and circle of concern, these are all very important. And if you have got the concept of these all circles, then definitely you can excel at your work and in your personal life. That is all from my side. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Allah Hafiz.